You ever thought about what would happen if the moon started spinning differently? Or I guess in the other direction? Get ready because in 2023, scientists showed a surprising fact about our moon. Something unbelievable is going on, hidden on the moon. Prepare to be amazed by the mysterious moon wobble. As we learn more about this strange event in the sky, we discover a troubling reality. The truth could lead to serious problems for our planet. Today, let's discover the secrets of the moon wobble, understand how it affects sea levels, and see how humans are rushing to face this serious worldwide problem. Join us on the adventure into the unknown as we explore the Moon Wobble Chronicles, which sounds like a book series for kids. Since a long time ago, the moon has always been with us, lighting up our nights and affecting how things happen in our world. It's a special thing in the sky that has helped decide what'll happen on Earth, but there's a little bit more to the dance in space than we see at first glance. Imagine this, a beautiful, round object, very similar to Earth, but much smaller, floating far away at a distance of 238,855 miles. Even though it may seem big, this space is only a small part of our massive home. However, even though it's not very far, the moon has a big effect on Earth. Our moon is different from other moons out there. It stays close to the path of the sun, and it doesn't follow the same line as Earth's middle. Because of this, we get to see amazing things, like when the sun or the moon gets covered up for a short time. These are super cool moments that have interested people for a very long time. They make scientists want to learn more, and also have created magical stories that have been told for many a year. The moon's enchantment lies not only in its mystical beauty, but also in the gravitational interplay that it shares with Earth. The moon's gravity pulls at our planet, creating tidal forces that reshape our oceans and our coastlines. It is a delicate balance between these celestial partners, a dance that affects everything from the tides to the very rhythm of life itself. But what if I told you that this dance is about to change? That moon, our faithful companion, is undergoing a transformation that could have far-reaching consequences. Get ready, because something new, something unpredictable called the Moon Wobble is happening. Which again, sounds like a dance move, like it just... The Moon Wobble. Anyway, so it's when the moon's spinning changes in a way that we can't predict. That's, that's the Moon Wobble, and it might mess up the balance that we're used to depending on. As we look at the moon's empty-seeming surface, we don't realize the interesting stories that it has. Every hole, high area, and dark, flat spot in its rough land tells a secret history. From big crashes of space rocks to powerful explosions from volcanoes that just don't exist anymore. The moon's surface shows that it had a crazy past. It had a wild party life in its 20s. Scientists work hard to figure out these mysteries, not only to understand how the moon changed over time, but also to learn more about how our planet and other planets formed. Now, we can't forget about these amazing times when people walked on the moon and left their footprints in the soil. The daring Apollo missions showed that we love to explore, and humans can do pretty cool things. However, in the middle of all these amazing things on the moon, something surprising has been discovered. It's called the Moon Wobble and it's made us realize that we need to think more seriously about our relationship with the moon. It's like a signal telling us to explore, to learn more about this mysterious bright object in the sky. Even though it might have some dangers, this phenomenon gives us a unique chance to gain more knowledge, to question what we know, to uncover the secrets that the moon holds. For a long time, the moon has fascinated us with its magical shine on the Earth. People from ancient times to now, actually, have been captivated by the way the moon and our planet interact, the, 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 the language that they seem to share. This special bond between them is not just some fanciful idea, it's an influence that shapes each and every one of our lives. Right in the middle of this cosmic, big thing is the moon's strong pull, like an invisible rope that makes the ocean waves go up and down. Every time the water goes in and out, amazing changes happen along our shores, and all kinds of living things start to grow. The rhythmic waves create a special place in the ocean with lots of food, where many different kinds of sea animals can live. Where the land meets the sea, there is a busy world full of life, where Animals find homes and food, but it's not just the ocean creatures that feel the moon's effect. It also has an impact on the way all living things on our planet function. Think about how birds travel long distances. They use the moon as their guide. The moon helps them know which way to go. The moon also affects other things in nature, like when birds mate and eat. It's like the moon conducts a beautiful song that makes everything work together. Even underwater, the moon controls when corals reproduce, making them do it all at the same time. Yeah. Everywhere in nature, from tall trees to deep oceans, the moon's power keeps everything in balance. As we learn more about how the moon affects Earth, we start to see how everything on our planet is connected. It's like a friendly reminder that we're all linked to the entire universe. Every cell is linked in some way or another. And we are all cells on this big planet. When we understand this, we also realize that even small changes in the moon's behavior, like the moon wobble, can have big effects on our environment. To keep our planet safe and healthy, it's really important to understand and prepare for these possible consequences. In our age of space exploration, where the mysteries of the universe are slowly being discovered, a timeless companionship between the Earth and the Moon continues to captivate our imaginations. Whenever we find something new, 
We learn more about how everything on Earth is connected to the big universe. And it's a big universe. I, I don't know if you noticed. Explore a magical and explore amazing experience as we dive into the captivating event called the Moon Wobble. Everybody do the Moon Wobble. No? All right. For a long time, astronomers and scientists have been fascinated by this special dance in the sky. See, it's a dance. It's a dance. This is where our quiet friend, the moon, follows a curved path around the Earth, making a breathtaking show that goes beyond what we think we could even imagine. You might be wondering, what exactly is the lunar wobble, the lunar wibbly wobbly? Prepare to be amazed. It's actually a reference to Doctor Who. That's all it is. I'm just messing around. But it is the mesmerizing result of the delicate gravitational interactions between Earth, the moon, and the sun. Times a wibbly wobbly ball of wibbly wibbly. Anyways. Envision the moon's orbit tilting ever so slightly concerning Earth's orbit around the sun, causing the moon to sway and wobble gracefully in its celestial ballet. This captivating motion, influenced by the sun's gravitational pull on the moon, completes a full cycle every 18.6 years, a cycle that is known as the lunar nodal cycle. Yet the intrigue doesn't end there. The lunar wibble wobble expands beyond its cosmic spectacle. It also holds sway over the Earth's climate. This 18.6 year cycle has been discovered to have a profound impact on weather patterns, reshaping the distribution of rainfall and even influencing the frequency of forest fires. Its influence knows no bounds, shaping the very dynamics of our planet's climate across vast distances. And that's not all. Solving the mysteries of this lunar wibble wobble holds the potential to keep us in check to help us predict the future sea level rise, a invaluable tool in planning strategies to safeguard our vulnerable coastal communities. But uh, hold on to your horses, there's an even more intriguing twist to the story. Get ready as we explore how the moon moves fascinatingly and how it unexpectedly affects the amazing things that we do today. You know, the moon's wibble wobble doesn't just affect the tides and the flooding near the coast. It goes much further and even has an impact on the cool gadgets and the inventions that we create. In the vast expanse of space, our satellites go around Earth and they help us with important things like, you know, GPS directions. But the moon's pull on things makes a small push that can mess up the path of these satellites. Just think about what would happen if our GPS got all mixed up, making it hard to know the right time or where to go. It's really important to study how the moon moves around to make sure our GPS works well and we can rely on it. But that's not everything. Our wishes to explore the moon, like the famous Apollo missions long ago, are connected to the mysterious moon's wobble. In the 1960s, knowing about this moon phenomenon helped our astronauts reach the moon safely. And today, as we begin new moon adventures and prepare to land spacecraft, it's important to understand the moon's orbit and the wibble wobble. Look, man, if they didn't want me to call it a wibble wobble, they would have named it something more scientific. Wobble? Really? Anyways, this wibble wobble is complex and it's very important to our plans. Even with the centuries of dedicated study, the moon's wibble wobble continues to captivate scientists, propelling them to utilize powers of advanced technologies like satellite data and computer simulations. As our world confronts the pressing challenges of climate change and ventures into the uncharted territories of space exploration, the significance of the moon's wibble wobble grows ever more profound. It serves as a captivating reminder of the mysteries of the cosmos and how vast they are and the fact that they can somehow be hidden from plain sight, somehow. In our quest for knowledge and advancements, we're constantly reminded of the intricate cosmic dynamics that shape our existence. Picture a world on the edge of complete ruin, barely holding on to the survival. The unstoppable rising waters like a fierce monster are about to swallow up everything that we deeply care about. But this isn't just a regular event of nature, it's a critical situation waiting to explode caused by the harmful effects of climate change and the moon's strange wibble wobbling. For years, scientists have been sounding the alarm about the dangers of rising sea levels, yet only now are we beginning to witness the true extent of that devastation. Only now that it's on our doorstep do we actually seem to be a little bit panicked. Higher tides and increased flooding are no longer abstract concepts confined to scientific papers. These things are tangible, terrifying realities unfolding before our very eyes leaving communities worldwide in a state of, well, panic. And if you've never seen the movie Don't Look Up, it's very relevant. We human beings will not worry about something until it is at our doorstep, sh threatening us with a gun. We, we, just, we just don't. But anyways, what exactly is causing this impending tragedy? Introducing the lunar nodal cycle, a phase in which the moon's orbit brings it closer to our planet. As the moon draws nearer, its gravitational pull intensifies, resulting in higher tides. And when combined with the rising sea levels caused by our actions, the consequences become dire. That is a perfect storm brewing, threatening to wash away not just our homes, but our way of life. And the repercussions here are far-reaching. Coastal erosion is erasing the very landscapes that we cherish, displacing both humans and wildlife alike. The delicate balance of ecosystems is being shattered. It is. 
leaving an irreparable scars or irreparable scars on our planet's biodiversity. Freshwater sources are tainted by saline waters, leaving communities parched and crops withering away. And let's not forget about the economic toll. Ports, the lifeblood of global trade, face an uncertain future. The world's largest cities, situated along our coastlines, tremble at the prospect of being swallowed by the relentless waves. The very foundation of our global economy is at stake, but it's not all doom and gloom. There is hope. By reducing your greenhouse gas emissions and embracing renewable energy sources, we can slow the rise in sea levels. And I know you don't... It's easy for us people to get into the mentality of, well, it's okay that I don't do it, because other people will. You and your actions matter. It is ultimately not that significant that you contribute that one, you know, that one household isn't going to make that much of a difference. But if that's your mentality, that is probably other people's mentality. And if we're all on that boat, well, that boat's sinking. So I'm just saying... Do your part, please, because it does matter. You do matter, right? It's a, it's a collective effort that requires governments, businesses, and certainly individuals to band together in the fight against climate change. We have to prioritize sustainability. We have to, we have to adopt practices that heal rather than harm and support policies that safeguard our planet's future because that's all there is, right? We need, we need a future. This chapter may paint a grim picture, but it's not a eulogy. It's a call to action. It's a, it's a rallying cry for us all to wake up and take a stand. Recycle every chance that you get. Make sure that before you throw something away, is it recyclable, is it not? That bare minimum kind of stuff matters. The impending tragedy is within our power to avert, but time is of the essence. So, let us heed the warnings, act decisively, and rewrite the course of history. Our planet's fate hangs in the balance, and we together, we together can forge a brighter more resilient future for generations to come. On the other hand, NASA scientists, the brilliant minds at the forefront of discovering the mysteries of our planet, have made a chilling revelation. Brace yourself for the tale that unfolds as we dive into the depths of their research. These experts have been diligently monitoring Earth's climate and natural phenomena for years now. Recently, their focus turned to the moon wobble. Sorry, the moon will wobble. Now, you might be wondering what on Earth that means. Well, let me paint you a picture. Imagine a wibbly-wobbly dance between the moon and our planet a celestial tango that takes place every 18.6 years. It's a natural occurrence, this wibbly-wobbly, in oscillation in the moon's orbit. Naturally, that wouldn't set off any alarm bells, but here's the twist. When combined with the rising sea levels fueled by global warming, it turns into a powerful thing that you gotta take seriously. It's like a one-two punch. It's a wombo combo. A, w a wibbly-wobbly wombo combo. <laughs> uh, it, it makes the big waves that we have get even bigger and I know that I just made a joke but this is this is very serious it makes the waves bigger and then those already big waves meet the rising sea levels and I think you can put together what happens next we're talking about coastal flooding on a whole new level it may not have the same dramatic flare as a hurricane surge but make no mistake these so-called nuisance floods can wreak havoc in the long run so what does that mean for us the inhabitants of this fragile planet well like I said earlier it's a wake-up call it's a loud and clear reminder of the weight that we bear as Earth's custodians, and it's not other people's jobs. I have to drive that point in again because I know a lot of people who are under that mentality, who will throw trash out their car window because, well, most people probably don't do that, right? It's not their responsibility to be the Earth's custodian. It is. It is all of our responsibility. Our actions, our lack thereof, will shape the future, not just for ourselves, but for our kids and their kids and the kids that they have. Yeah. Armed with this knowledge, we have the power to change the narrative. We can take proactive steps to safeguard our coastlines, our communities, and our very existence. Now, the road ahead won't be easy, but by embracing this challenge head-on, we pave the way for a brighter, more sustainable future. Imagine yourself in a quaint coastal community, where picturesque landscapes and soothing ocean breezes have always been a source of tranquility, but now the tides are turning, quite literally, even. Rising ocean levels caused by the anger of global warming meet the scary powers of the moon wibble-wobble causing a lot of damage. Formerly, peaceful roads turn into unsafe barriers, impossible to cross as the unstoppable floods flow through the streets. Properties, once safe, once secure, now face the constant threat of damage and ruin. And businesses, once thriving centers of community, will find themselves struggling with relentless disruptions, their survival hanging in the balance. But, you know, it doesn't even stop there. These never-ending floods have effects that go beyond just the physical world. They affect our society, too. As people try and deal with unsafe waters, they also face a lot of financial difficulties. The value of properties in areas that frequently floods drops drastically, causing housing problems and destroying people's hopes and plans for the future. 
Families who are forced to leave their homes seek shelter in places that are not prepared to handle so many people, especially those who are displaced because of climate change. And as the waters keep rising, there is a higher chance of public health emergencies because the pollution gets into our water sources and diseases that spread throughout water can quickly become widespread. However, amid all the confusion and disorder, we have to remember the hidden hurts that leave deep marks on our inner selves. The impact of constant flooding and being forced to leave our homes on our mental health is something that we shouldn't underestimate. Losing our homes, being uprooted from the places that we know and love and not knowing what the future holds weighs heavily on our emotional well-being. The stress, the worry become unwanted companions that tighten their hold on us as time goes by. In this troubled time, we're facing a big worldwide problem that we need to deal with together. The moon wobble and rising sea levels are causing a lot of damage to our society and our economy and they put our way of life and basic structures out of our communities at risk. As we try and figure out what to do, let's come together and work together towards being strong, adapting to changes, and making sure that we protect the future that we all share. These changes have big effects that go beyond our local communities. Imagine this, when the coastal areas flood more often, industries that rely on these regions become weak. Look at tourism as an example. Many coastal places depend on it to make more money, but the industry will certainly suffer as the floods get worse. I mean, they, they will, they have to. To deal with the rising water, we're gonna need to keep fixing and improving our buildings and our roads, and that, as I probably don't need to mention, will cost quite a bit of money for governments and people who pay taxes, and it, uh, it, I wish I could stop saying this, but it doesn't stop there either. Farming and fishing, which are important for our food, might have problems because water becomes too salty or the farms get flooded. Even the insurance companies will be affected. They might make people pay more money or not cover houses in areas that have a high risk of flooding. This means that the people who live there will have to pay more money and some houses might be left empty. Amidst these difficulties, our economies will need to change, will need to evolve, adapt, overcome. There's going to be a big need for new and creative technologies and solutions to reduce the problems caused by flooding. And this will create a chance for environmentally friendly businesses to do well. Some areas might have fewer jobs because of the challenges, but industries that work on dealing with climate change and making things better will grow. However, it doesn't stop at the economic level. These changes pose substantial challenges to governance too, of course. Governments will find themselves grappling with difficult decisions, such as whether to invest in flood defenses or support the relocation of residents. Now, these decisions have to be carefully considered, not only for the economic and practical aspects, but also the delicate issues surrounding community identity and overall just justice. It's undeniable that the societal and economic impacts of the lunar wobble and the rising sea levels are immense, intricate and interconnected. They force us to confront the pressing need to address climate change and prompt us to reimagine our societal and economic structures in the face of these transformative changes. Are we prepared to adapt? Or are all of us going to be swept away by the rising tide? Let us know in the comment section down below and uh, probably contribute something happy. I want to hear a joke in the comment section down below because it ain't all sadness out there. All right, later.